It's Saturday, June 29th, 2024. And I wanted to make this video because I was hoping I would get large onions this year. I've been trying to grow large onions. And by large, I mean, <laughs> uh, you know, bigger, bigger than this, let's say. That's about the size of onions I was growing. And I thought I'd make this video just to tell you what I did different this year. And it made a, a huge difference for me. As you can see, that's what I used to grow. That's what I ended up growing. I didn't, I don't know, maybe 40%, 30 or 40% of my onions turned out big. I'd say probably 30%. But there are several that are nice, real nice size onions. And what I did differently this year was the type of onion I grew. I always used to grow onions from Dixondale Farms, the plants that you order. Then they send them to you, then you put them in. They never did well. For years, I tried, and they never did well. While I was watching a lot of YouTube videos, everyone that grows large onions seemed to grow large onions if they started them from seed indoors. So that's what I did this year. I also changed the type of onion. I grew Walla Walla, which is a long day onion, but it can also be grown in intermediate, the intermediate zone, which is where I live. I'm in Kansas. So I thought I'd give them a try. And that's the really large ones I have are the Walla Wallas. Then I also grew Patterson. They're a long storage onion which the walla wallas they they say need to be consumed within three weeks and these pattersons will store for months so i also grew some of those now i started them from seed that's the first thing i did different the second thing i did different was I watered the heck out of these onions. I mean, I, I watered them heavily, twice a day, once in the morning, once in the evening. On the weekends, it was starting to get pretty warm. You know, I harvested these, what, a week ago? And it's, it's June 29th now. Temperatures have been in the upper 90s. Heat index is 105, 106. So on the weekends, I'd water them three, four, five times a day. Uh, and I'm not kidding. Every time the top of the soil started to dry out, I hit them again. Uh, it's important to make sure your onions aren't buried in the dirt. Um, if you can see, like on this onion, only the part that's dirty was in the soil. So everything else was sticking out of the soil. Um, water, 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 I'm not so sure type mattered, um, candy onion is a real popular one they grow in my area, that's what I'm going to grow next year, um, I'm also trying a short day onion, which is, I think, Texas Super Sweet, and they're supposed to get Softball size, candy onions supposed to get softball size. So hopefully I have some luck with them this coming up season. <clears throat> Something else I did, which I have fertilized them before. Um, I put triple 13 into the soil, mixed it in my soil before I planted my little tiny blades of grass, because that's about what they look like when you plant them, and you're thinking, there's no way these are going to grow into a huge onion. Um, 
along with putting a balanced fertilizer in when I started them, two weeks after I planted them, maybe three, eh, I think two, about two weeks after I started them, I started using, and I'm going to show you the bag, I started using ammonium sulfate, which is 21% nitrogen, zero, zero. I applied this rather heavily every two weeks until they started bulbing, then I stopped. Uh, do not stop your watering when they start bulbing. If anything, give them more. I gave these onions so much water. I, I, I think in cooler areas, they probably would have rotted. But it, it was, you know, upper 80s, 90 degrees. They did not have a problem with me giving them a lot of water. I've got them sitting here in front of a fan now. I turned it off just to make this video. But anyway, I wanted to let everybody know how I finally, after seven years, grew nice, large onions. And, you know, they're not all big, but even even one this size, I, I couldn't grow. I, I was growing small onions. Red onions, I'm going to give... A uh, red candy onion, a shot this coming up season. These are red wings, and they grew really small. The plants were huge. I mean, you can see the, the thickness of these leaves. They're, they're huge. And they had 10, 12, uh, or more leaves on them. I really expected them to, to bulb up like these Walla Wallas did, but, but they didn't. But anyway, I'm pretty happy. I finally figured out how to grow large onions and I hope my video helps someone out. Um, I don't know if it was the fact that I poured a ton of water on them, but that, that seems to be the case with a lot of people that grow large onions. They give their onions a lot of water, so. Maybe that'll help you out, and I hope you grow large onions like this someday if you haven't already. If you have any comments, leave them in the comment section, and have a great 2024.